In the upcoming 12.9 patch, Riot introduces a new egg mechanic. And while I will make a video about this in the future, there is something I wanted to get out of the way first, and it has to do with the Reforged Consumable. The reason for this is that a lot of the egg outcomes include Reforger. So I think it's pretty important that you guys learn seven different ways of utilizing Reforge in TFT. Now, the first one is obviously extremely simple. If a unit has a component and you use a Reforger on the component, it will fall off the unit and it will become a different component. I mean, everybody knows this. Why am I wasting your time? Next up, it gets a little bit more interesting because we have two different types of emblems. There's the so-called craftable emblems and the elusive emblems. Craftable emblem emblems are ones that you can craft yourself with a spatula and a component. Elusive emblems are ones that you cannot craft yourself. And for Reforger, you have to separate them in two different categories. And the reason for this is that if you use the Reforge onto a non-craftable emblem, you will only be able to receive a non-craftable emblem. So as a very short example, if you end up utilizing it on a bodyguard emblem, then you will receive anything from clockwork, mercenary, socialite, scrap, you know, just the type of emblems that you cannot craft yourself. And if you end up using it on something like an Arcanist emblem, the game will end up giving you something like a, a striker, a challenger, or a hextech emblem. Next up, we have the Orn and the Radiant items. These ones are pretty simple to understand. If you use a Reforger on an Orn or a Radiant item, you in return, you will receive either a different Orn item or you will receive a different Radiant item. Nothing too complicated here. And probably the two most interesting uses for Reforgers that you likely didn't know about is has to do with spatulas. First of all, what happens if you reforge a spatula? Well, it turns out you're going to get a component. That means that if you have a reforger on your bench and you see a spatula unit on the carousel, then you can take it, reforge the spatula if you don't want to use it, and in return, just get a component and the unit that you were looking for. Lastly, we have a mechanic regarding the tactician's crown. Now it is not possible to reforge the tactician's crown, but there's still mechanic regarding this item. If you have a unit that only has a tactician's crown and you try using reforge, it won't work, it will bounce. But if you end up in a situation where your unit with the tactician's crown has any type of um, component or item, and then you use the reforger, both of them will bounce. Now the item or the component will end up reforging into something different and the tactician's crown won't change, but it, it will still drop off the unit. And this is the important part because from time to time, you're going to be in a situation where you'll either take a unit with a spatula from the carousel, or it, it, it might even have a completed tactician's crown and you don't want that item. You want the unit. Well, you know, if you end up building the tactician's crown on something like a Kaiser that you pulled out of the carousel, then you can utilize this mechanic to remove that item from that unit in case you want to get rid of it. But yeah, those were the seven different ways of utilizing Reforge. I hope you learned something and see you the next time.